about the announcements and every other thing that's important. Bethlehem is feeling good. That's good. Okay, so we've started recording this morning's meeting. Okay, guys, so um, this is officially the start of week nine, okay? But we have something that we would love you to know. So first of all, okay, I know that most of you might have seen how we grouped um, week nine and week 10 together on Rocket Chat, okay? So that means that we are going to have a 10 day challenge, okay? So all of week nine and part of week 10, okay? It's going to be 10 days. So that would start from today up until the 14th, which is next week, Tuesday, okay? That is when your assignment is... <laughs> that is when your assignment is due, okay? And then for the remainder of week 10, which is going to be the 15th to the 17th of September, we are heavily going to focus on, you know, careers and getting our profiles, you know, ready and prep for interviews and everything. So that is how week nine and week 10 is going to look like. For week nine, up until um, the Tuesday in week 10, it's all going to be focused on the challenge because it's a 10 day challenge, okay? Now, the um, challenge document, it has already been launched, okay? It's in the Google Classroom folder. It's there already. And um, additional information will be added so that you could better understand the details. But the essentials are all there, okay? But more explanation to make it easy for you guys to comprehend the exciting challenge that you're going to work on will be added as and when necessary, okay? Now we're going to start this morning's stand-up. Now, for this morning's stand-up, we really, really want to get a sense of how you're feeling, okay? Because we've gone way past half into the training. So we really want to know how everyone is feeling, okay? would love to know um, one thing that probably might not be good, okay? But then we want to know how you're feeling. So who would start us off this morning? We really want to know how you're feeling, okay? So who's going to start us off this morning? Let's just have a nice chat. Let's just start this Monday on a very positive note, you know. Let's just get it ready and pumped up and everything. So let's just, let's start off this week very excited on a very high note, okay? So who wants to start us off this morning? Michael, just a good just morning. a quick note. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Uh, good morning, everyone. I really want everyone here to use this as an opportunity to practice. Each of you is going to be going into interviews. Um, everyone really should be putting up their hand and practicing. For those of you who were in the guest talks last week with Nabil and Nahum, um, heard from Nabil that for the first month and a half he found it, uh, he decided not to attend, but then he realized it was good practice. Everyone should practice speaking. Thank you. Thank you for that, Aaron. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. So, Michael, let's start off with you this morning. How are you doing? All right. Good morning. I'm doing well. Um, from my end, I think uh, I've, if if I take the last two weeks up till now, I think it had been it had been um, slow for me though. But I realized that these these are the periods where I've really come to grasp and understand and have that particular have the normal view with how the settling is done and things are getting on so i i kind of not feel the pressure that much i wish i could have i mean earlier i, I could have had that feeling earlier but all the same better leads than never so i mean that is it from my end and uh, i look forward as well to making sure that my profile also stands out and actually i'm also excited about this week's um challenge because it's more of a second chance to get things right things which you didn't uh, we weren't able to go through when we had a chance to do um, something similar in uh, i think week four week four weeks um, i mean the, the other week so I, i'm really i'm really excited and i'm trying to see how i'll be able to try these new stuff and then get it signing on my profile 
Okay. Thank you so much, Michael. You have really started us off on a high note with a lot of positivity, um, a lot of encouragement and excitement, okay? And we are very happy that you're, you're moving on, okay? So that's, that's a, good, a good way to start this week. It's a good perspective. So who wants to go next? We just really want to know how you're feeling. Ah, Bethlehem, good morning. How are you? Good morning, everyone. Hi, how are you? I'm good. And uh, I think I got a good rest on Sunday. And as I've said, I'm really feeling good. And also, I'm so excited about this week's project because I personally had an experience working on a machine translation project at my internship. And uh, we had a problem of uh, having uh, enough amount of data for training our models. And one of the solutions that we came up was uh, uh, doing a contribution platform where people can contribute different translations for different local languages. So I think this project is somehow similar to that. And I think that's good for me. And I'm excited about that. Thank you. Okay. Um, thank you so much um, that you are excited and you've shared with us. But um, I am not sure that you told us, you know, anything that isn't good or everything is good on your end Bethlehem yes I think everything is good uh, not being able to submit after Saturday 8 p.m. has helped me I think because I now can't work on Sundays and I was being Sunday in a good way and that's really helpful I think Hmm, that's that that's actually good that's actually good um thank you Bethlehem thank you for sharing that with us yeah, so that's good. Zalalem, good morning. Okay, good morning, everyone. Hi, uh, how are you this morning? Good. Okay, I'm fine. I'm actually feeling good. And uh, okay. I'm glad about this week's challenge also. And that's, uh, since it's also new tools and new tech stack that we are trying, I'm glad that it's also a 10 day okay. challenge. I hope we'll uh, mm -hmm. gain much experience in, this, in the next 10 days. And I'm also glad that uh, after the next Tuesday, we will focus uh, uh, fully on uh, career-related things for, I think, uh, three or four days after the next Tuesday. Because uh, I was in the last, uh, let me say, two or three weeks, I was mostly prioritizing the technical assignment. And I've been postponing uh, uh, my profile improvement and I haven't finished it. So I think that would be, it will be a great time to finalize on my profile. So I think I'm feeling good uh, about the schedule and the uh, coming project. Okay. Thank you. So what I'm hearing from you is that you're happy about how week um, 9 and 10, how they have been um, divided so that you could focus on the 10-day challenge and then you have the rest of the week to focus on your careers and your profile and just prepping you guys for interviews and everything. So that's, that's a good way to look at the week. And yes, that's how we really want you guys to feel. So um, thank you so much, Zalalem, for that. So who wants to go next? Okay, um, Nibiru and then Steshi. Hi, hello everyone. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, uh, I think for me, uh, the first uh, month and also the next half months, I think, it was very hard for me adapting to the challenge, to the work environment like that but i think after week six i got ad adapted very well it took me six weeks <laughs> but uh i'm excited for this week's challenge since i'm planning uh my career in data engineering i think it will give me a good experience on data engineering tools like spark and other tools also so i'm very excited for this uh 10 days challenge. 
and also okay. for the interview preparation. Okay. Okay, that's good. So um, I heard that you said it took you six weeks for you to adapt. So what actually helped you after week six to adapt? Did you particularly... Think, uh, week, six, week six challenge was a peak because uh, the first five weeks was somehow similar. And, but when we, got, when we got to week six, it suddenly changed. I think it was data engineering challenge. So I don't I don't think it got uh, more than that from uh, week six. Oh okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, Steshi. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Um, so last week uh, was good. I was a bit tired last week. I'm feeling better this week and I'm very excited for the challenge. I've been trying to to do a such a challenge and post it on my GitHub and I've just been postponing. So I'm very happy for this week's challenge. And uh, yeah, I hope I gain a lot from it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people are excited about this week's challenge, and that really is the, the, the atmosphere that we really want to create. So um, thank you. Um, I see that Milky has raised his hand. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hi. Uh -huh. I can hear you now. Uh, good morning, everyone. <laughs> good morning. How are you? Uh, I'm doing great now. Uh, last week, I was under the weather and uh, wasn't participating a lot. And uh, I passed the entire week <laughs> resting, kind of. But now I have recuperated and uh, I'm excited about this week's challenge and the scheduling. And... Uh, uh, I'm looking forward to do the task and uh, see what I can do. Okay, okay. Um, we, I just hope that you feel better, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. So um, next on my list here, I see Jakinda. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Jakinda. How are you this morning? I'm doing good. Yeah. So what's yeah, good on uh, your end? My end, uh, uh, last week project was good. Uh, I worked in a group and uh, I believe I learned more from them and we collaborated well, I think. Uh, I'm excited for this week and uh, I've seen it's a data engineering project. So I'm looking forward to learning a lot from it and uh, make sure that I uh, put my best foot forward and try and uh, deliver things properly. So yeah, I'm excited about it. And also for the, uh, it being a 10 day project, uh, it looks nice and promising it gives us more time to like uh, figure things out and learn more also in the process. And also uh, focus on the pro profiles and every other thing afterwards. So I think <clears throat> it's a good uh, opportunity for people who want to be data engineers to actually interact with uh, the platforms and uh, learn better, so yeah. Okay, okay, so that's good. Uh, thank you, Jacinda and uh, Michael. Michael Tekler. Okay, um, probably he's not here. So let's move on to Christian and we'll get back to him. Christian Zanu, good morning. Yes, good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm fine too. Okay. Okay, so um, what's your general feeling this morning? How are you feeling this morning? about the week's challenge, about probably past challenges. How are you feeling? Uh, about last week's challenge, I think that it was 
a great challenge and um, I work on group. We, we did, I think, as much as we can. And yesterday, I take a little bit to, to take a rest. In order to be very good this morning, and I take a look of a of a challenge of this week. I think it is a good opportunity, especially uh, for me to to improve maybe my my level in data engineering and to more understand those parts we did on week I think five and six about audio. So I think it will be a, a good challenge for me. Okay. 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 So that's good. So um, everything looks good on your end, and you're excited about this week's challenge, right? Uh, everything don't look good, but I, but I'm excited. I can't say that everything is looking good. Okay. Because they, they still have a lot of things I have to to improve my service on. Okay, okay, that's good. Realizing that you have a lot of things to improve yourself. Okay, so um, what step or steps do you plan on taking, or have you taken to improve on yourself? Um, I think I, I, I think do you know Udemy? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I have some. Before, on January and February, I already applied for those courses. I think five courses on Python and data, data engineering. So I think, but I didn't find the time during the year to, to uh, during the year because I already taken also my course in biostatistics. So I think after the training now, I will take a, a little bit of time to maybe to take a course and to pass a certification also in that in order to improve myself in data engineering. And, Machine learning, and I also download also some kind of book in order to improve also myself. I I I really like Python seriously, and I have also to thank you about that because you you, you help me so much. Mm -hmm. so, thank you, Ten Academy. Okay. Thank you for also being a part. Thank you, Christian. So next up we have Baker. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm doing uh, good. Actually. Yeah, like the previous week's challenge was really good. Like uh, working with a team and not only sharing uh, the work that you are not doing, but also like life experience and sharing, having fun in the team also was one of the things. Like, yeah, well, we have a particular time, I think in a group when we were working and uh, for this week's challenge like uh, i've been trying to explain for some some of my friends who are not taking this course like uh, what we have done in week four and five like a speech to text translation and one of the things that there is was like how do you get the data where do you get the data so this week's challenge uh, will have an answer for that i'm hoping like a uh, mm -hmm. concrete answer and how they can get those data. So uh, I'm really excited to do to work on this week's challenge and to go up to the uh, understanding of the data engineering. Yeah, thank you. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's 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 good. Okay. So next off we have Azea. Good morning, Azea. How are you doing? Um, good morning, yes. Um good morning everyone. Um I'm doing good uh so last week yeah um i i also worked in a group the same book as Barakat, um and okay. it was really good um i had really good uh team members um and i'm also really excited about the tools that we're going to use this week um there are tools i've been wanting to use um but never got the time as well like many people um and also excited about the non-technical challenge as it's been something I've been putting off, um, like Zelale. So excited. Okay. 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 So um, is there anything you feel you need to improve on or everything is good on your end? Mm, 
Yeah, I, I think everything is good. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's good to hear. That's good to know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Daniel, Daniel Zalalem. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How are you? I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm okay. a little bit sick. Uh, I had a common cold, and oh. I'm hoping that I will recover soon. Uh, besides that, I'm excited about uh, this week's challenge because previously I was feeling that we had not done that much on data engineering task. Most of the challenges that we were doing were focused on analysis project and machine learning modeling project, but we only did one data engineering project on week six. And I was feeling that we had we have to know more uh, about this uh, Data about data engineering and this week's challenge gives us the opportunity to develop our skill on data engineering. So I'm feeling excited about the task. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah, so let's move on to, to Tony. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Toyin. How are you doing this morning? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, so um, I think I'm excited about this week challenge because like some of the um stuffs we'll be using, some of those like apps, like I've I've not used them before and they are like on my bucket list to learn. So I think I'm feeling very good about this week. And like week five, I think for the past four weeks, I feel like I've not really been on top of my game. Like I've been having a lot of doubts, like personal issues. But I feel like I, I was able to sort a lot of things out last week. So like, I think I'm in a better place and like I'm putting in more effort than I did in the past four weeks. Last week, yeah, like what's last week? I've been able to put in more effort and do more things. <laughs> Okay, I'm doing there's a question for you in the chat box, okay? So apart from the new things that um you're going to learn that were on the bucket list. <laughs> no, those oh. actually from Twin. Um apart from that, what else is on the bucket list? Oh, okay. Uh there's um my interpersonal skills, like I need to improve that. And you know, there's this there's this thing that like when I don't really like like something like a technical skill i don't really like to go like overboard to try to like do it when i don't enjoy it when i don't enjoy the task i don't really like going overboard to do it but now i feel like it does not matter like when you're in the workplace you have to just do whatever they give you so whether like you are extreme like you extremely like it or not and also there are like more skills that I need to add. Like I checked out on data engineering and there are like all these requirements, like all these like AWS for example, I've not used it before, so it's part of the pocket list. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm I'm happy to hear that you are you are trying to improve on yourself to get yourself work ready and you have a bucket list that you seem to be you know checking off on things on the list so that's that's also a good way to start this week okay okay so um yeah so i still see michael's hand up michael Techler, are you here yes yes good morning good morning good morning how are you i'm good i'm good i'm good how are you i'm doing good i'm doing good yes uh I'm excited about the upcoming challenge. Um, uh, the tools that we're going to use is uh, like I had I had a project before uh, where like we need to contribute uh, on so on that set and we need to work on some data set and uh, I'm a bit excited about the tools that we're going to use uh, because like uh, those are the tools that I wanted to work on before. So I'm actually excited about the that's, that's upcoming. Um, and on my weekends, like I was actually falling back uh, on the tasks that I was assigned to me before I was working on my profile. I was falling back on that and I was working on my profile. Mm, yeah. 
Okay, okay, okay. That's good mm -hmm. to know. That's good to know. So, um, did you make any improvements on the profile? Uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm making okay. some improvements. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. Um, I saw that we had some hands raised up, but I don't know. It seems like they've disappeared somewhere into the ocean of Google yeah. Meet. Oh, okay. One has resurrected. Okay. Um, Yusuf? Yeah, I've resurfaced again. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing this morning? I am fine. I think okay. I, everything has been good. Okay. Last okay. week, it's nice to have some exposure on Kaggle's platform, and uh, it's kind of a, a, a good experience for me. And yesterday was a race day, of course. And uh, today, I just read the Ten Academy. Uh, drive uh, that was shared with me. Yeah, it looks exciting and all, but at the same time, it looks complicated. I don't know what to feel about it, but we'll see. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So at the end of the day, yeah, just have an open mind. And as you said, we're going to see. Okay. So um, we have yeah. another hand for Mubarak. Mubarak Sani. Mubarak Sani, can you join us this morning? All right, probably he's not here. So um, 10 Academy. <laughs> You're Sorry, muted. I always have this. Yeah, I have this unmute problem now. So I just, just two lines. Um, OK, uh, cool. It's putting my hand down by itself. Very elegant. Uh, so first, good morning. Hope everyone is good. It's good to hear the energy. It's good to hear that people rested. Um, I'm so I just want to say two words about this week's challenge. Our goal has been and remains to get everyone um, ready for the world of work. And so this week's challenge for those for everyone is uh, provides people with keywords and skills which are ex which are very much in demand in the data engineering space in the world of work. So just this encouragement, even if it's difficult, um, recognizing that it may be difficult to get a perfect set of outcomes, this is a really useful and important task in terms of what industry is looking for. So I just wanted to put it in that context. And the second part that I think I really want us to think about this week is not only be able to do the work, but to be able to explain um, how does it fit into, how is it generalizable to the jobs that each of you will go into doing? So what is relatable? The fact that we're doing speech to text, text gathering um, Amharic or Swahili or other um, pieces of data, how is that generalizable? Um, and then where does Airflow come in and where does Spark come in? Because the skills you learn here, it's a little bit like for those of you who are as old as I am and saw the first Karate Kid, um, the wax on, wax off is generalizable to the data engineering that you'll see in your careers. That's all I wanted to say. Okay, thank you so much for that. Um, I don't know if we still have one more person who just wants to just share with us this morning. Um, just let us know how you're feeling. As Arun had mentioned previously at the start of the meeting, um, really this is just, you know, practice to get you job ready, expressing yourself. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just any expression is good. Do we have one last person, one last trainee? Okay. Um, okay, Ten Academy. Yeah, go this ahead. Is, okay, so, no, I mean, I think Arun said it, but I want to make sure that people understand the that it is difficult. It may be difficult because it involves a lot of cloud, a lot of new tools, and therefore it would be very important to get the kind of your your team members, the group, must act like one. And so we should avoid the type of challenges we faced before. So I would say if you are not participating in a group or or something, 
then you have to let us know early so that you know by the we i i don't think that we can afford now managing teams per se because the tasks that are involved would be quite high so i would say if you are assigned in a group and if you are not participating it would be really damaging for the group and the group should make the decision to go without you know people who are not active and i think this is at the late stage of the training you know if you if you can't take that role of like being useful find a purpose in the group if you don't understand that means you can ask practice i would say you really limit the kind of opportunities and also just the kind of the progress that team members will have so uh, make sure that you know you fully dedicate yourself to be useful you might not know some of the tools you might not even get familiar with many of the cloud stuff but make sure that you find purpose it could be like you may be the product owner in that group and you become like the kind of helping and chasing people you know whether they have done what they say they will do on time so just take a role be proactive and and make sure that your group shines and this is really a taste for what will come in the work environment because what you are working this week is really a project, a, a real project, with the solutions we don't know. And we are interested in the solution, actually, because if you manage to do it well, then it will really open up um, a major opportunity like as a flagship project also for, for Ten Academy, because then we can not only train people, but also produce something to a society. That means if we are able to, for example, um, get an audio file, 3,000 hours to, for training Swahili and Amharic, that would really change the game. It, then they become from the, uh, you know, resource uh, lack of, I think there is a saying, it's like there are languages that are divided, um, those which, which doesn't have resource or resource, who lacks resource versus others like English, French, Chinese, um, who are kind of resource rich. So resource poor and resource rich. So we can, I mean, of course the implementation is a different thing, but with the kind of tools you produce, we could really help or contribute to make Swahili and Amharic at least from research resource poor to resource rich. And that's a big thing. So I think that we have quite an interest in it and we want everybody's effort in the team. So I just wanna make sure that, you know, don't take it lightly. Uh, when you are assigned in a group and and find a purpose and a uh, role so yeah i just want to say that thanks and just one more thing to add on to what you is saying anyone who finishes this project and doesn't understand how these tools are used in industry is really missing an opportunity um so i would love to see a lot of interaction lots of questions let's get out of competition mode let's get into collaboration mode we're all this far uh phil clay said it best he said there's lots of opportunities out there we do ourselves a disservice if we try and um, compete rather than collaborate. So let's make sure everyone understands how all these different things work together. Um, let's get the whole batch to understand. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. I was muted. So um, honestly, Yababel has just said it as best as possible, you know, especially for the group work thing, okay? So let's just all try to be um, responsible in our own little ways, okay? And um, yeah, be excited, but then actually get to learn and understand what's happening. Okay, so that's it for this morning's stand-up. Um, you already know the deal. If you have any question about anything, the All Week 9 and 10 channel is open on Rocket Chat, you know. Let's just try to ask questions, you know, engage. And as Arun has just mentioned, let us collaborate. Let's get, um, let's move away from the um, competition mode and just try to collaborate and do something spectacular as best as we can okay so um we're going to move on to the to this morning's ask me anything session and um we have christian okay christian zanu so i'm going to stop this morning's recording and then we're just going to move on to the ask me anything session and guys i really hope that would stay